The Kauhaneva Mire is located in Ostro, Bothnia, in the western Finland. In the beginning of May, the landscape is rather watery due to the snowmelt from the winter. The birdlife nesting on the mires occupy the hundreds of ponds and dry hummocks and start a new reproduction cycle. You should visit the mires in dusk or dawn. Here you can experience the colors, birds and sounds of the Maya clearly. These are unique moments in life. Kauhaneva, entirely in its natural state, is a part of the Kauhaneva Pohjankangas National Park. Kauhaneva and the other Mayers in the National Park make up an internationally significant peatland area. A concentric bog is a shield-like Maya massif. Its middle part is higher than the edges. The middle part is surrounded by circumferential hummocks that are tussock-like dry formations. Wet hollows and puddles remain in between. The nature values in some areas at the outer skirts of the park have significantly diminished. The bogs have been ditched and dried in order to make the trees, usually pines, grow better. Kauhaneva is a part of the National Boreal Peatland Life Project aiming at Maya restoration. It is restoring more than 4,000 hectares of peatland into its natural state. Maya restoration begins with restoring the hydrology of Maya. These old ditches are filled in with machines. Also dams are built to some restoration areas to block the water in the ditches. In addition, various guiding elements from the peat are built in the filled ditches. This way, the passage of water into the strips between the filled ditches is ensured, allowing the recovery of the Maya nature. The blocking of ditches is an important measure for restoring the natural hydrology. Trees are also cleared from large areas. The Boreal Peatland Life is a project led by the Natural Heritage Services of Metsähallitus, organized in cooperation with the ELI Center for Central Finland and University of Jyväskylä. 50% of the project funding is obtained from the Life Nature Fund provided by the European Commission. The scale of the Maya restoration project is exemplified by the fact that more than a million meters of ditches are to be filled in. The peatlands in the national project stretch from the most southern spit of land to the most northern point. There are mires, bog woodlands, arpa mires and concentric bogs in the project. Nearly all Finnish Maya types are included in the restoration project. The diversity of Mayas in Finland is the largest in the world compared to any other similar sized area. This is why Finland has a significant responsibility in protecting peatlands. The richness of the species in Kauhaneva is evident in the bird life, the abundance on invertebrate species, as well as the rich flora. For instance, more than half of the nearly 40 bog moss species in Finland can be found in Kauhaneva. This common Magellanic bog moss grows in the area between the wettest parts of the Maya and the drier tussocks. The feathery bog moss grows in the wettest places in the raised bog. The red bog moss grows on the more dry, tussock-like hummocks. In May, Kauhaneva is filled with sweet cranberries for hikers as well as cranes. In principle, the Maya can restore itself. However, the natural regrowth of the ditches is so slow that the restoration of the natural hydrology would take decades. 
In autumn, ditches are usually filled in. Already in the next spring, the water level has clearly increased. How quickly can the results of the restoration be seen? Clear changes will be seen in the flora already by next year. For instance, cotton grass usually returns swiftly, as does silvery sedge. Everything depends on the initial situation and the weather, among other things. Maya restoration gives the Maya a chance to return to its natural state. Maya restoration triggers the restoration of the natural hydrology of the Maya. The Boreal Peatland Life Project monitors the success of Maya restoration from various angles. We ensure that water is guided to the right places. In addition, we follow the hydrological changes, the rise of the water level and many hydrochemical elements. Monitoring the changes in the Maya vegetation has an important role as well as monitoring various species. The most important species to watch are the butterflies and dragonflies of the Maya. What is the importance of the Boreal Peatland Life Program to the Finnish peatlands? Finland is actually a land of fens and Mayas. Therefore, Finland has a special obligation to maintain its varied Mayas and peatlands. Very large areas are restored in the program. We will improve the living conditions of many rare or endangered species while simultaneously promoting the restoration of various types of Mayas in their natural state.